Hi folks, Richard Freeman again, here to talk to you today about this situation with uh, Saudi Arabia being attacked. Again, officials now say, intelligence indicates that Iran was a staging ground for this attack on the Saudi oil production. And um, I think that this, this uh, situation uh, requires tremendous consideration before uh, any kind of military action is taken. And uh, I think we need to basically gather the evidence and put it all for forward to, uh, to our allies and build a strong coalition in the model of uh, George H.W. Bush uh, with Kuwait. Not to say that we should go in and, and invade Iran or, or, or uh, or launch a uh, military strike at this point, but my position is that we need allies, and we need a, a unified front, and that Saudi Arabia and the United States does not is, does not constitute that kind of a of a world alliance. Uh, so what I'm saying here is that I've uh, drew upon my uh, cartoons to show you what's what would be at stake in the event that we did do let's say a disciplinary attack joint effort with Saudi Arabia and the United States and then we we could involve the whole Mideast area into a grave conflict and that would what would that do to the oil supply and and the Straits of Hormuz if we say goodbye to that so which was where all the oil flows from so what, what would that, uh, uh, how would that benefit the situation? Again, we tried that with Syria. President Trump launched an attack on Syria, and uh, that didn't uh, really do any measurable uh, uh, good uh, effect came out of that. So uh, I'm not saying again, and if we threaten to do something and talk about it, and then we, we turn the other way and say, okay, let's just, let's just go down right at the brink, then basically we, we are uh, we're, we're a paper tiger and we don't want to get into the position of being a paper tiger and we don't want to get into the position of not having the world behind us in anything that has to be done if it has to be done and that should be something we shouldn't even be discussing right now because it just uh, it doesn't go anywhere to uh, to talk that way we have to be focusing on gathering the evidence and getting and trying to reestablish our uh, relationship with our allies. Um, if we don't do that, then we're, we're just looking to, uh, we're just getting in deeper, like quicksand, we're getting deeper and deeper into the Mideast. And um, it's, it's an endless pit. So I drew this, this is a cartoon that I did on May 15th, 2019. So if you look at it, it's almost like uh, it was when we uh, took the, air, the aircraft carrier that was the uh, USS Lincoln, the aircraft carrier. We boarded it in right up to the Straits of Hormuz, and I use Dick. I use Dick Cheney here. You recognize him, not to go after Dick Cheney, but to symbolize a possibility that somebody could use uh, a decoy to do this, even uh, inside of Iran without the government's approval. There's so many factions that are possible in Iran that they could do this with it without even the government knowing about it. It's possible. It, I mean, it couldn't happen. It couldn't happen here in this country because not yet anyway, but it couldn't happen here, but it could other. So we assume that just because we have, it can't happen here does not necessarily mean that another country, somebody could, could concoct these things and get all this technological know-how and, and do this on through their own group, whatever. So, so um, it's going to require really a strong, strong investigation, and and a um, a real, real strong alliance of our al with our allies to be successful. Because a military strike is a slap on the wrist, and and it's just going to create more animosity. And um, 
the Iranian people who are with us will now be against us. And there are there is a good element of, of Iranians who are, who who are are with the United States in many ways, in spite of all these sanctions. So uh, I um, I think would be I'm, I can't rule out like in, in the words of President Trump. Trump I want to say this, <laughs> you know, you can't take anything off the table in this world. But to jump right into into a uh, bloodbath is is uh, is a premature. Let's put it that way. And uh, I do this cartoon. Again, here, I use Dick Cheney to symbolize somebody who might have benefit from a war. Oh, no, no, not Dick Cheney wouldn't benefit, no, I don't mean that way. But I mean as a symbol of, uh, just as a symbol, not to, to use him personally, because everybody would recognize how Dick Cheney influ had an influence in us getting into Iraq. So I, I, he's represented here symbolically, not to say that he would, you know, he would rent a boat and, and go out there. <laughs> I never wanted to imply that, but here's here's a point. If you look at this, uh, if you look at this here, you see the, the the whole configuration. What we're talking about here. Now here's Iran. These are this is Straits of Hormuz, right here. The Straits of Hormuz, where all the world's oil supply fl flows through. So it's right in the belly of Iran almost. You see, and then you got Saudi Arabia right here. You see, and then you got Yemen here. With the with uh, with the Houthi people, and you got Iran here in a conf basic a, a rival situation with Saudi Arabia. So Saudi Ar Arabia is basically uh, surrounded on both fronts, and uh, and then you have, like I said, Yemen, Iran, Straits of Hormuz blocking the oil, and what else have you got here? You got like I said, Saudi Arabia. And what, 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 um, it could spark a whole Mideast war. You've got, you've got to have, you're going to need, um, and the thing about it, it would be an asymmetrical war. It wouldn't be a war where you would have, uh, like, like with General Patton, where you had, you had the tanks fighting each other in, in the battle. But it would be, it would be terror, it would be isolated incidents like we saw just recently here. And these people have their groups who, who operate this way. This is their, their, their mode of operation. So it's, uh, it's a very, very touch and go situation. And even in spite of that, I say it can't take anything off the table, but everything should be done to create an alliance in the model of George H.W. Bush did with Kuwait. Not to say we should go into Iran. Hell no, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying we need an alliance of people who will be with uh, Saudi Arabia and the United States, the, England. I'd say even uh, if you could get Russia on board, but uh, you know they're very close with Iran, so I don't know about that. But you do need, uh, you know, you, you need a, a, a strong world alliance to to make this uh, happen, to make this successful, to show them that we we mean business. Words don't mean anything anymore with all the words that have been said. Um, President Obama said a lot of words, drew a lot of lines, and um, if President Bush, uh, Trump is going to follow in that path, and and uh, we're going to look like a paper tiger to the world, and nobody's going to want to uh, be on our side to form an alliance with us. George H. W. Bush was able to do that, get the world behind us before making doing what he had to do. And he said, this will not stand. And I re remember hearing those words. And I said to myself, damn right. He, he, he meant what he said. Uh, and um, I, don't, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to try to make you, give you a smile and make you think. And that's all I'm really trying to do, is make you think about the situation to show you what, what, we're, what the geographical uh, situation is here. You look at this here. You know, all the ships have to go through this all the oil supply through the Straits of Hormuz, the position that Saudi Arabia is in here, um, and it, it just it just looks like a, a, a boiling pot that you're going to light a match to uh, throw some gasoline on, and it don't look good. The, the uh, 
You have to get the alliance people and you have to make them see that doing these things is, is bad. Who's ever doing it, it's bad and it's not going to get them anywhere if the whole world is allied against them, you see? And, um, you know, that's all I'm trying to tell you. We have to think about it. We have to be, everybody should take out their map and should look at this map of the Mideast and say, what the, what are we doing? Not just go to work, come back home and go sleep and say, well, you know, <laughs> it should, you, you, you really have to, should pay attention to what's going on and do it not, you're off tight, but with a smile. And I want to thank you for listening to this video. And I am hoping that there will be no uh, war in the Mideast and that uh, the, the uh, Iranians and the Saudis will somehow be able to get along and uh, things will straighten out in Yemen somehow. Maybe a, some sort of a, a coalition government of some kind or, or and the world will put the pressure to mold that into an effect. But you know, I don't think the United States and Saudi Arabia can do it on their own. They're tremendous power, and I don't think all this weapon, weaponry that we, we, we've given them that they have to fight conventional wars are great. But, but the, 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 this is not conventional war. This is an asymmetrical war where you have, you have, uh, you have ten little drones, uh, like the kind of stuff you buy, you know, almost like in a, uh, in a Walmart coming across. You're gonna, how are you going to trace those drones back? Uh, those little things that just explode in the air, and I mean, they're gone, and as soon as they explode, and you say, okay, it came from there, okay, it came from there, but well, where, who? who, 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 was it the government, was it the group, was it, was it somebody who snuck into the country, did it? I, I mean, it's so, there's so many ramifications. You gotta make people understand that peace is better than war, and, and that's really where it's at, and that needs an alliance, a, a real strong alliance of many countries, and without that, I don't think we're going to be successful, and I want us to be successful. And I want to thank you for watching this video, and you have a good rest of the day. Thank you very much.